For the longest time, I wanted to give up at drawing. Ever since Toho Fest, I've had a strange desire to sell stickers at the next event. So, I'm going to need to create some designs. But, um... Oh, yeah... I think it's time to go on a Goku-style training arc. But first, I will learn to improve my art to make it not bad with the power of Toho Project. But first, we gotta begin with a baseline. Yeah, dang. The rules are simple. I will draw every day for the next 100 days, and once every 10 or so, I will vlog about my progress. Now come on baby, don't be scared. We're gonna learn big things, wacky things, maybe weird things? Uh, I don't know, just, just play the music. Day 10, day 10, day 10. I cannot believe 10 days have passed already, but I've made a lot of progress, so let's just, um, let, let's just go back a little bit. So, this is what we started with. We got the little, um, current skill level, and turning, we have, um, just look at the progression. So we have ugly, kinda, you, you, proportions are off, you, 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 uh, it's getting better. Um, we don't need to see those, but. Not bad, it's just a um, little top heavy. Okay, not too shabby, I like that. But ooh, this is where we start popping off. Just look at that chin, ooh, okay. Um, she's a little boxy, but I do like the proportions. But ooh, okay, I like, I really love this Sorno. Just look at her, she's just like, And then with day nine, we have Moko and she, she is, I am popping off. Just oh, look at that hand. Ooh, I love that hand. Just, ooh. Her feet are a little, um, just not good, but I believe we can make it. We can make the dream happen. So for the next 10 days, I have to continue studying anatomy. And when I get to that point, I will either go to dynamic posing or perspective. I need to check out my chart, but not too bad. The lesson you can learn here is use a reference. Like, references help a lot. So, uh, yeah, uh, day, day 20 time, let's, uh, uh... Oh my goodness, day 20. You know, day 11, we... The, the Mima is just, uh... Okay, the anatomy is a bit off, but let's just, um... Yeah, we don't talk about the Aiden. But, day 13, I decided, hey... You know, why not we start doing the trend where I draw characters for their canonical Toho character dates or whatever it's called. So I decided to do Moria Girl. I, I don't really like this. It looks really off, but I, I can see the anatomy getting better. And also this freaking thing looks cursed. Seriously, you watch Suwawako? And Acacia is like, yes, I do watch Suwawako. On day 17, I decided, hey, you know, why not do a little birthday gift for Cloudy? Cloudy and her little swishy 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 swishy. Uh, it looks, I, I really don't like the hair, you know, that I still need to work on that, but honestly, still really solid. This is the original Layla that I drew from my Layla Prism River video by a few weeks ago, by the time you were seeing this video, so uh, she, she looks alright. And then we come to the current day, day 20, where I decided, hey, you know, to celebrate day 20, let's make a dream cosplay idea. And I decided, you know what, screw it, Moria. Now, I don't want to explain it all, but essentially, think of Suwako Moria, but in Hidden Star and Four Seasons, and this is essentially what you will get. And honestly, my anatomy is getting really solid so far, in my opinion. I, I still need to work on my arms, like, you can tell I just kind of cheaped out there but day 30 um I'll, I'll see you when we get there okay uh also yeah you can tell i'm, I'm becoming an artist now <laughs> just look at my hand but uh, yeah day 30 here we go yeah you know it's funny i completely forgot to record my progress for day 30 and partially for day 40, so I, I, I'm already on day 46, so I, I need to get this over with. So, this Hatate looks really stiff. And at this moment, I figured out that, hey, you have to learn gesture drawing. And that's what I did with this Okina that looks like that freaking One Piece character. And so, I experimented more with the line of action. 
essentially um, you can see action but again just it looks really freaking stiff and that's just I, I really hate that Marisa but as time progressed it got a lot better you know, with the Sukuya the, the dabber the, the freaking Josuke ooh okay I really love Junko's face right here she's just like huh uh, we have Leviathan equals death with this Flandra, I experimented more with going off of one paper onto the next page so I can, you know, add more detail or something, whatever it's called. It kind of works, but uh, I don't really like how my feet get cut off, but that is a limitation of paper. And this, this Lyrica. Now, you know, it's funny. Yeah, Lyrica Live. On Twitter, I posted this image and I tagged Lyrica Live to say, Hey, does this have your seal of approval? And she responded to me saying, Oh yeah, it's beautiful. She really likes the curves, the facial expression. It looks like I am getting Jester down, which I can kind of see. We have Ron Yakumo, a birthday gift for Linny, the, the Ron Yakumo fan on Twitter. And of course, Shinky for my best friend. I, I love this post so much. I kind of effed up the feet but whatever but hey my art is getting really freaking solid especially compared to this so hey i consider this a w and hopefully i will record day 50 on time so uh, uh. okay day 50 we're finally here so for day 50, I did something special. I wanted to do something that takes up two pages. And this was an idea I had for a while. And it came from this one scene in Cars 2 where like uh, the spy guy was just capturing the, the professor with a rope. So I was like, you know what? Screw it. Let's, um, let's do some crackhead ass idea. So Marisa is capturing Sunny Milk for a rope. And Sunny Milk is like... <coughs> and then Marisa is all... Oh, Sonny, you really think you can get away with stealing my books? I do like the Sunny. Her hair is, um... I do like her... <laughs> her facial expression is really funny, though. It's like... <gasps> I do not like the Marisa, though. And someone pointed out that her silhouette, it's not clean. One thing I should consider from now on is to make my silhouettes more defined. Essentially, you can tell what a character is doing from black and white on a black and white background the days before i did a rumia doing the freaking gritty or whatever um i don't really like that arm it looks awful i i do like her dress it looks really good i the hair honestly ruins it though it just no lo looks horrible oh I, I don't know if i can show that on youtube i do like how i did the arms there they do have perspective but <laughs> Halfway through the drawing, I realized that it was kind of suggestive, so, um, it, it was an accident. Sunny's reaction says it all. We are halfway through the challenge, and I am making some really good progress, especially when comparing to, like, this. However, instead of transitioning to another vlog, we're gonna go take a little retrospective. Um, Day 50 came quicker than I thought, and along the way, I've improved from goobage to this. In all honesty, I never thought I would see the day that my art looks somewhat passable. And that's all thanks to the power of determination, passion, and community. You can have the best pencils, the best drawing tablets, or even the best knowledge of anatomy, but if you don't have determination to break your limit, you might as well not even try to begin with. Before I began my journey, I was directionless with my art. I drew occasionally because I felt like it, but I never loved the result. For years, I had spurts of drawing, but I always gave up shortly after because I had no end goal in mind. That was until Toho Fest, where I saw the various talented artists that, alongside various other fantastic memories, allowed me to leave the convention a change man. It made me develop a powerful passion for my crafts, and one of them was a newfound desire to draw art. While I was thinking about doing the 100 days challenge sometime before, Toho Fest truly sealed the deal, and when my junior year ended, I went to work. 
I had strong feelings of wanting to improve and learn from the best, and that's what I did on the TohoFest Discord server. Unfortunately, I had a moment of struggle where I kinda mentally broke down and became worried for my future. I was worried that I would give up on my ultimate goal of making great stickers for the next event, and just to see this as another failure in the trash bin. But that is where the community part comes in. They comforted and cheered me up during that moment in time, and as the days went on, they, and the people of Twitter, helped me learn what I was doing wrong and what I could do better for my art. Looking back, that mental breakdown had a good lesson. You can be a master creator in anything, but if you don't have a support system to help you at your rock bottom, you will have a walking ability of a baby. The journey of improving my art is not only a trial of how fast I can improve the craft, it's also a trial to self. A trial to test if your determination, passion, and community can stand the strain and pain of self-enhancement. But who am I to talk? There's still 50 days to go, and so much art left to learn. We have Saki. Saki looks nice. I don't like her wings. Then, Yachi. Uh, I like the Miller seals. They look very nice. And especially her face. She's just, uh... I know it's from the lost word pose, but like I said here, Sam. Perfection. <laughs> Yuma Yuma Yuma. I remember drawing her because I saw that Mystical Lala was doing a cosplay of her, so I was like, screw it, we're doing Yuma. <laughs> it looks alright, you know, I got like little little rainy horns and all that, though. I gotta work on my feet though, they look ugly. We have a Merlin. You can tell when I'm lazy, I just do a default Zun pose that he does for the games. Yeah, I'm inspired off this one. But I do like how I manipulated the fabric here, and no, she's not showing any private parts, you can you can clearly see it's just the underwear the, the, that they wear, like what the Fumos do. We have a little raisin, ooh, okay, a little raisin with her gun. We have another bunny, Tewi, um, for day, uh, yeah, funny number. I like the hand here, it's not the best, but hey. In earlier drawings, I used to be more chaotic, adding like lots of lines to emphasize the folds and the creases and all that, but I'm starting to be more subtle, which I think looks a lot better. Next we have a Hidden Star in Four Seasons Cerno, because I was inspired by this one cosplayer. I was thinking of doing something with the hand, but yeah, you can tell I just gave up. <laughs> now we have a Conoco, which um, I deadass did not notice, but... Literally the same pose. <laughs> Instead, she's holding a cup. A cup, for some odd reason. I still need to work on three-dimensional space, especially in making the, the hands and fingers actually, you know, fingers and not sausages. I'll see you when day 80 comes or whenever I'm like, you know, not lazy or something. <sighs> So it's day 90, 90, oh, I, I don't even know at this point. Right now, I don't have my sketchbook because I'm at my dad's house, blah, blah, blah. On screen are a few drawings that I really like between day 70, day 80, day 90, whatever. I'm sure you can see improvement, but I don't, I, I really don't know and I, I really don't care right now. And that's because for day 90 to day 100, I'm doing something a little special. Ah uh, yeah, baby, we're going into color mode. So already so far, I have done like three or four drawings, but I want to save. I want to save the other two and the rest for day 100. So I'm experimenting with alcohol markers, copic markers, whatever the hell they're called, and uh, yeah, they leave a lot to be desired. But that's probably because of my lack of practice and it's uh. Yeah, it, it, it shows, it really shows. But, so for this flanger here, I was really tempted to do something akin to like, it's in the Super Smash Bros. Brawl intro where the characters go from their melee design to their brawl design or something like that. But 
You know what? No, no, no. It's like Mario Code Splash. <laughs> it's, it's like, um, the characters are regaining their color. They're regaining life. That's what I was... It's like a mix of the two. That's what I was trying to go for here. And for whatever reason, the people of Twitter like this. So, I don't know why, because the anatomy is really effed up. Like, like this lanky ass arm. But, and the other drawing I want to show is of Lyrica. So, I think on day 76 or whatever, I forgot. I did a drawing of, what was it? I think Lyrica or... It's one of the prison rivers. I summoned Lyrica Live to the Twitter post, and she was rather ecstatic to see it, like, whoa, it's beautiful. I was like, you know what, Lyrica? For day 91, I'm going to draw all the prison rivers. And she was like, oh, that will be a special day. And day 91 came and went, and I was like, yeah, I'm not doing all the prison rivers. I'm just gonna do Lyrica and see what her reaction is. And as of right now, she has not replied to my Twitter post, but rest be assured I am, I'm sure she will reply when the video is uploaded, but, but if not, I'm, it's probably something exciting or something, I, I, don't, I don't know. But this Lyrica here looks really goofy, if I have to be completely honest. And that's probably due to the fact that I, I don't know how to ink well. I don't know how to do the line art so it looks all goofy. But aside from that, like, holy crap, the drawing challenge is going to be done soon, and I have a lot of words to say about it, so we're going to come back to day 100 when, you know, I do something really cool. <laughs> So, over the past 100 days, I learned a lot, from barely drawing cohesive lines to learning how to use references, and then to fixing my stiff poses. Sure, there were some hits, and there were some duds, but it doesn't really matter the quality of your work that you put out. As long as you're trying new things, it should all work out in the end. Now, I'm going to, I'm showing you day zero, as, of course, it's time for the big reveal for day 100. Um, dr drum rolls or whatever. Yeah, it might not be what I expected. There is a trait among artists that they're their own harshest critic, and I think I'm learning that the hard way. <laughs> but Torch says my art looks livelier now, so maybe that's all that truly matters, I don't know. But hey, I now doodled Hedo Kasane in my class. Truly the artist experience. But there's still one question that remains. Will I sell stickers at Tall Fest? That is still up in the air. But if all goes according to plan, you might see official Suwaoko stickers. But if I can't, well, um, I don't know. I'm gonna propose a challenge to you. I dare you to do the 100 days challenge. Hey, if I, a person who gave up so many times, tried, failed, felt desolate, and ultimately made the push to do the damn thing, then I believe you can do this challenge with your eyes shut. So yeah, you better do it or else, um, I don't know, you're gonna make Papa Suwaoko very sad. Uh, you, 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 uh, uh.